Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India garden of knowledge that is the truth age after age and when you were all of you were you know in your baby stage you were asking too many questions but as you were growing you were not asking any question so that is the hard truth of life but it is very important to have questions so uh, let us uh, you know talk about uh, thermodynamics today and work before that let us recall what we learned in the last lecture we basically looked at the equilibrium and various kinds of equilibrium and a thermodynamic system can attain equilibrium only when it can attain uh, thermal mechanical and uh, what you call chemical equilibrium also the phase equilibrium and then we looked at the uh, what you call stability of the equilibrium process and uh, four kind of uh, situation we have looked at the stable uh, unstable metastable and neutral stable and uh, we will be most of the time discussing about the stable equilibrium kind of concept but however in case of phase changes and other thing we may invoke the metastable conditions and beside this we learned a very important concept which is very essential for the classical thermodynamic that is a quasi static process or a quasi equilibrium process so uh, now we will be looking at the thermodynamic concept of work because uh, if you look at the thermodynamic system can interact with its surrounding only th two ways one is the work interaction other is the heat interactions first we will consider the work interaction and work interaction if you look at we will take our uh, as usual you know piston cylinder arrangement which will be containing certain amount of gas and which will be having you know like a system here let's say kind of things to start with and which is balanced by this force and if this is being what you call reduced by delta f this force whatever acting then the piston earlier it was here with this and then its system boundary will increase you know this is a what you call movable boundary right and there is a displacement ds so if you look at mechanics from point of view right it is basically uh, the you know force into displacement right as a result the volume like you are at the state one here and as you go on decreasing the force and there will be increase in volume of the gases in the system and it will be reaching a steady state uh, another state too right and all the time you can think of that it is uh, you know attaining the quasi equilibrium because you are changing the uh, what to call the force by a very very small amount such that it will attaining the uh, you know mechanical equilibrium and one can also consider it as a reversible process because it is a very slow and there is no friction between the cylinder and piston or any other kind which will be uh, won't really uh, allow the system to move reversibly right or in other words it will be make it per process irreversible so uh, if you look at from the mechanics point of view the work done will be what if i take this uh, tiny strip here right and that is nothing but your you know uh, this displacement you know like uh, 
and uh, if you look at this displacement you know piston has moved through distance ds and force and ds and force is acting so that you know the force is acting with the uh, pressure p because from the system and then this is the surface area so it become pa and ds and this uh, what you call change in volume a and ds is nothing but change in volume and if you integrate this thing between the state 1 and, and to 2 you will get pdv right and so if you look at for this to integrate what you need you should know the relationship between the pressure and volume right isn't it then only you can integrate otherwise if the pressure is remaining constant what will happen then you know you can find out what is the change in volume and then you can do the work but however for and that is possible only for what isobaric process right where the pressure is remaining constant only the change in volume right but for other processes you should know the relations between the pressure and volume and if you look at this integral is basically this area you know that will give me the work done that means this area will give me if i integrate will give me p and v diagram that is in the plot pv diagram it will give me this area will give me the work done <coughs> and which will can be expressed in the kilojoule now if you look at during this process right uh, is it the work is possessed by the system or not see if you look at the unit of the work is kilojoule or joule whatever you call right but that is the unit of energy am i right or wrong yes or no is a energy so is it work is same as energy energy is possessed by the system okay or if there is a, a you know interaction between system and surrounding there will be change in energy but is it the uh, there will be change in work also of the system actually it is not basically work is work is done by expanding the energy okay work is done by expanding or by using the energy right but the work is basically not uh, the energy it is the energy in transit during the you know process it occurs that means it is a basically boundary phenomenon if you look at this way piston you know piston is moving right if it is not moving because that is the boundary like if you look at this is a system boundary changing right earlier uh, it was started with this and then after the displacement it has moved to distance you know so therefore the work you know we call it as a boundary phenomena kind of things so and it will be dependent on you know like let's say if it is a uh, it is going from uh, station 1 to it is going to the station 2 it can go through uh, path a it can go through path b and it can go through path c right the work right it can occur and if it is taking different path the work done will be different for example the path if it will take the path a it will be 10 kilojoule if it is path b it will be 8 kilojoule and if it is path c it will be something 5 kilojoule in this example right and then that means the work is basically dependent on the path so therefore work done can be considered as a path function it is not a point function whereas energy is basically what is a point function therefore the work is not a property of the system because it is dependent on the path whereas the energy is stored in a system but not the work work cannot be possessed by the system okay but whereas energy can be possessed by the system so therefore we call work 
is energy in transit can be identified or can be manifested you know only when system undergoes a process if there is no interaction between the system and surrounding right okay then work done will be what will be zero right so <clears throat> therefore one has to understand the difference between work and energy let us take an example like a piston cylinder device initially uh, contains 0.4 meter cube of air at 100 kPa at 80 degrees Celsius. That means you know if you look at volume is given to you, pressure is given to you, so also the temperature. Air is compressed right to 0.1 meter cube in such a way that temperature inside cylinder remaining constant this basically isothermal process temperature remaining constant and we need to determine the work done during this process right so let us consider these are the our system boundary right is a piston cylinder arrangement and air and 100 kpa and initial volume is 0.4 meter cube and temperature is 80 degrees celsius right and we will uh, what you call uh, it will be stationed here at this point and it will be compressed that means we will be putting some weight here so that it will be compressed so that pressure of the system will be attaining a higher pressure with the and it is a quasi static process we are assuming so the process will go on in this direction that it is a uh, attain the state 2 at which the volume is vertical 0.1 meter cube let's say you know by that piston may be moving through this process this is your station 2 right so we need to find out basically work done so these are the things are given like v1 is given 0.4 meter cube v2 is given point uh, what you call 1 meter cube and uh, p1 is given 100 kpa and temperature 80 degrees celsius so what we'll do we can apply the ideal gas law we know that pv is equal to mrt and this r is basically specific gas constant here and if you look at if temperature is remaining constant then what will happen to this term this is mass is remaining constant inside the system so therefore this is this term is basically a constant c so therefore we get a relationship between p and v right p is equal to c by v and if we uh, integrate take this thing that work done is equal to p d v 1 to 2 then you know you can put this uh, relationship between the p and v here and you integrate it and uh, we know that c is nothing but your p1 v1 right and you know the v2 you know v1 you put this thing to uh, i mean uh, put all the numbers whatever uh, i'm like is there and then you will get the work done is equal to 55.45 kilojoule right so now this is coming with a negative sign what is the meaning of that that means what who is doing work here system or surrounding it is the surrounding that is doing the work on the system right are you getting if the system will be doing work then it will be positive that means this is basically a compression work and if it is expanded that means piston will move if instead of from station 2 to station 1 if you come back right it need not to take the same path okay it may take path if it is reversible right if it is irreversible it need not to take the same path suppose i am here i will have to go to this then what will happen work done will be positive suppose i am at station 2 and I have the you know like uh, I will be coming to the station one following the same path 
then I will get the same work done 55.45 kilojoule but with a positive sign. That means the work is done by the system on its surrounding. Is that clear? Okay. So now let us take a situation in which work is not equal to PD because we have seen this is the PDV work. Okay. But we can consider a situation where it, PDV is not there in picture. Let's say we will consider a free expansion. One example, I will be taking few examples for that. Let's say that there is a two chambers, right? The chamber 1 contains gas at uh, P1, V1 and in a chamber 2 is a vacuum. Now, there is a partition here. I can remove this partition, okay? and the pressure here is vacuum. So what will be the work done? Let us, uh, you know, do in a, another way. For example, what I will say, I will place several, several, you know, partitions here. These are all partitions, right? I will remove this partition first partition. Then what will happen? The volume became this, you know, V1 plus VA1. This is your chamber 2, okay, VA1. This is a new volume, okay. Then what will happen? The pressure will change, am I right? Because the gas is same in the system, right? And this system becoming like that, you know, for here. Earlier it was in this chamber 1 and it became increased so that pressure will be what you call reducing, am I right? So you can think of the pressure is here, one here and when this, if the partition is removed here and then you know you will go to the point A, right? You can get and similarly another partition is being removed here, this is being removed, right? You will get B and C, D like that, all the partition you will be removing. And you can come up to a point with known as point 2, right? You can say, look, I will take this area, right? And say that this is the, what you call, work done in a PDV sense, right? Is it true or not? Is it true or not? Actually, it cannot be. That's why that is the reason, you know, like I have uh, put into this dashed line just to indicate that it is not a reversible process, you know, okay, that is one thing. Generally, when you draw a, you know, process diagram in thermodynamic, particular classical thermodynamic, we use a solid line if it is a, you know, process, <laughs> a reversible process. And irreversible process, we use the dashed line, that convention you should keep in mind. And uh, the, but important point is there, the work done will be not corresponding to this area what I have shown or, okay? Why? Because the work done will be in this case, what? What will be work done? Work done will be zero because the expansion of gas is not restrained by equal but opposite force at the moving boundary because all the time it is zero pressure, right, is experiencing. So therefore, it is not, cannot be as such. Uh. And no external force is moving through a distance, you know, as such because the, uh, the uh, vacuum is uh, remaining there. So free expansion is basically, you know, work, free expansion work or work done due to the free expansion will be zero. So let us consider another example that is the paddle wheel, right? What we will do? We will consider a, again a piston cylinder arrangement, right? But however, you know this piston movement is being latched, latched means it is fixed, okay? is fixed. That means it is not moving. 
So, I will take this as my you know uh, system, this is the dashed line I have put and there is a paddle wheel which is rotating, which is rotating. It is like a fan you are putting, okay. And then I can think of using joining with this uh, you know pulleys to a mass and then mass is going down, right. So, if it will go down and it is subjected to gravity, what will happen? right what will happen there will be change in some kind of potential energy okay but however when it is rotating here with some omega uh, in uh, what you call some rpm or the angular velocity omega then you know like the there is no change in the bound fixed boundary that means there is no pdv work there is no change in volume right that means can you say that work done will be zero am i right or wrong work done will be zero or not or will it be finite actually it will be definitely finite because that is a, as i told earlier this mass is you know changing its position going downwards so therefore there will be decrease in potential energy mass that means is work is done on the gas if I consider here as the you know in the system we call it as a gas you know. So therefore, uh, therefore the work done uh, you know will be equal to that whatever the change in potential energy. Keep in mind that this work done in only in the one direction. Suppose what will happen I will you know change this position like you know mass from the lower to the higher height what will happen it will not right and what will happen it may be you know rotated in the opposite direction that is all you can do right ok. But however it will be not uh, reversible and then that work done in case of reversible process is not equal to PDV however for reversible process we call it as it basically the uh, PDV work right. Let us take an another example this is storage battery right. So, we take this as my uh, system what you call this is my system and it is connected the battery is connected to a resistance right. This is the resistance and with a switch when I connect to that you know this will, resistance will be uh, what you call activated and you can get some heat you know. And uh, you know uh, that means the system if you look at is doing some work on its surrounding. Surrounding means in this case it is the resistance right. Now you understand like what I call surrounding can I say air as a surrounding no is the resistance which is surrounding and which is acted upon by this system. Uh, so, now I want to find out how much work is done by this with the definition that means you know force will be acting it will be going through the displacement or PDV work can I do that. So, uh, in other words let me ask is there any work done by the battery of course it is being done am I right yes or no because otherwise how the resistance is you know uh, going and we are getting some heat heating effects if you, you can measure the temperature nearby resistance and then find out there is a change whenever the switch is on and battery is you know connected to the resistance right. From the definition of work in mechanics what we have discussed till now in this case work done will be 0 from that definition. Be why because there is no force which is moving through any distance. However, as I told the system has interacted with its surrounding that is the resistance. Hence, the definition of work from the mechanics what we have seen has a limitation right. It is not really working for all the things and uh, whatever we will be handling in thermodynamics because the battery and other things lot of non PDV work can be handled by the, this thing. So, therefore, we need to define the work 
in the thermodynamic sense right for that we will let us consider a again our uh, piston cylinder arrangement right which contains the gas here and this is my system and if you look at it is connected to a lever to a and a pulley with a mass m and if this you know pressure is higher here and it may go up and as a result the, the hinge this will go down and it will be the mass will be let's say at in instant z1 and it is going to the uh, you know z2 distance right so then what will be the work done what will be work done because this mass is moving through a gravitational force field so therefore the change in potential energy is nothing but your mechanical work that is f in into z2 minus z1 this distance right and the f we know is the gravi gravitational force so m into g mass of this weight and g is the acceleration due to gravity right and this from this what we can observe can we define can you uh, redefine the definition of work what we had seen in the uh, mechanics from this so basically you can think of that the work is said to be done by a system on its surrounding whose sole effect on its surrounding could be viewed as the raising of a mass through a distance against gravitational force right and this definition was historically given first by the m planck which is a, one of the pioneer in thermodynamic and developed later on by j h kenan and what is the meaning of this is it is it that we will be telling like look it has to be always raising a mass through the uh you know uh, distance against gravitational force certainly no and what it says that the thermodynamic work involves both the system and surrounding it does not state that mass is actually raised by the application of a force in this case you know gravitational force what we are talking about it only states that the sole effect external to the system is to raise the mass through a distance against the gravitational pull right you can take this you know as a imagination and then put it and then you can get the work done for all the system you know including the pdv work in other words by you know uh, for non pdv work this definition can work now what we will say to illustrate this point further we will take this again the storage battery example what we will do instead of resistance what earlier it was here we will imagine that it is being you know connected you know replaced by a motor and then the motor is connected with a mass and which is you know it can be raised to the gravitational field right and then you can you know fit into the definition of thermodynamic very well right so although it is not a pdv work but however it is being fitted well in the definition of the thermodynamic work so uh, if you look at like when switch is on motor runs and mass is raised i have already explained this thing in this case external to the system that is the uh, you know system in this case is battery only effect is the raising of mass hence the interaction is called the thermodynamic work so keep in mind that no mass is raised through any distance against gravitational pull field however we are just saying that you know uh, it is just a uh, what you call uh, adding this concept so that you can put into the uh, what you call thermodynamic definition wise so let us uh, look at other work what we will be uh, handling you know work done on the elastic solid uh, bars so if you look at uh, this a uh, solid bar which is subjected to a force and it is having some cross sectional area which is not being shown here 
let's say this will be a cross sectional area right a and when the force is applied what will happen that will be what you call elongated and if you remove this force what will happen it will go back to the original position provided it is in elastic region right in which hooke's law will be valid you must be knowing from your mechanics right and uh, one way it is uh, you want to call reversible process right and you one can also think of like as if the solid bar is behaving like a spring uh, whenever the force is applied within the elastic range of course in the plastic range it cannot be am i right so therefore the if you look at the work done is basically the force into the displacement if you look at there will be the displacement let's say dx and this is nothing but your f dx and what is the force force is basically you know can be expressed in terms of what normal stress because when this force is applied this material will be trying to resist and it will develop a stress and uh, this is this force is perpendicular to the cross sectional area of the bar so therefore this is the normal stress right and you can integrate this thing and get the work done as such so work associated with the stretching of a liquid film let's say you know there is a uh, what you call movable bar and then you can uh, you know of course with a rigid frame here and if you uh, dip this you know frame in the soap solution and you remove this thing movable uh, wire and then you can uh, what you call uh, get a film right whenever you are applying certain force kind of things and it is this film is formed due to your surface tension am i right surface tension you might be think what you will do with this you know like uh, uh, you know like your uh, droplets are being formed due to the surface tension for force and so also the rain drops and other things and uh, you can use this film for the even flow visualization in fluid mechanics so we need to now of course look at how much work is done by this example like where the liquid film is being stretched by a force f so that is basically surface work i'm like you know uh, tension work surface tension work will be sigma s into a and this sigma s is basically surface tension force per unit length right that is being defined into da and what will be this da here if you look at this diagram what will be da that will be you know this is the length let's say this is your x right and this is your b what will be the change in length and this is your dx so what will be the change in a da what it will be it will be see there are two surfaces there one is here another is other side right so therefore it will be 2 the change in area will be 2b into dx right that is the change okay and then you can integrate this and then get that uh, work done <coughs> as such so uh, let us look at some non mechanical forms of work like uh, for example if you look at this reversible daniel cell of course nowadays people are talking about fuel cells and other things you know which is a very hot topic and uh, let us look at this uh, daniel reversible daniel cell and which is having a copper electrode dipped into this solution copper sulfate and zinc uh, electrode dipped in this zinc sulfate and with a membrane here and it is connected to a potentiometer and of course this is g is basically galvanometer which is subjected to the voltage e and it is in equilibrium 
right let's say what will happen like in the potentiometer you will reduce the voltage very very tiny amount okay and then what will happen that there is some charge will be flowing through this and then you know some work will be done on that and if we do the other way around you i mean like you know increase this voltage and such so that the more uh, you know charge will be coming from here and current will be flowing through this then it will be work done by the surrounding on the system if i consider that so if you look at the work done will be nothing but e dz where the dz is the quantity of charge transferred through the external circuit like this is your external circuit right and this is uh, basically non mechanical forms of work <coughs> and there will be a uh, electrical work right electrical work is basically uh, being you know uh, produced due to the emf that is the electric potential or there is basically a force and there will be a displacement one can think of electrical charge will be moving and then we can call it as basically uh, what you call <coughs> some kind of work we can uh, really uh, find it out similarly the magnetic work the magnetic work is basically defined as the production of magnetic field strength and the total magnetic dipole moments so there are various forms of uh, you know work one can think of and which Uh, we may deal with some time but most of the time we will be working with the pdf work right and uh, maybe some uh, some uh, you know kind of situation we may look at the non mechanical works kind of things which is we can call it as a non pdf work <coughs> so uh, so various forms of work uh, you know you may brush it up and see that let us now we generalize is by considering various modes of work we have uh, taken here compression and expansion that we have seen that is in the uh, from the mechanics point of view and then pressure and if you look at general force is your pressure and there is a general displacement which can be through the dv change in the volume and the work will be basically pdv in case of solid rod which is elastic in nature i mean like elastic you can say elastic resin then only we can talk of that is the normal stress right so if you look at that is uh, basically normal stress and the strain volume change then we can saw sigma n dv kind of things and we have also seen the stretching of a liquid film and which is uh, you know with the surface tension force right per unit length and then surface area comes into pictures like uh, and then we will get sigma s and dr similarly the reversible cell the emf e is being you know change and it is make this charge to move uh, either uh, you know uh, to the from the cell to the outside or the potent you know like uh, surrounding or from the surrounding to itself and we call it ez right so now if you put it you can put in in a very general form that is change in uh, the work or the work done is equal to fk that is a generalized force and dx is a generalized displacement right so the, if you look at although we started with uh, you know uh, criticizing the mechanics definition of the work but we are trying to assimilate like all the forms of work in this form and which is coming within the realm of the thermodynamic definition of the work so uh, therefore we will be using these various modes of work as i told uh, earlier that work is basically energy you know in transit uh, energy transfer in transit it is not same as that of the energy and uh, the also it is uh, dependent on the path of the system 
and uh, unlike the energy energy is dependent on the what to call it is uh, what to call it possesses energy is possessed by the system and it is basically a point function is a property of the system and whereas the work is not a property of the system so um, these are the things which will be dealing with and we'll be looking at in the next lecture about the heat interaction and uh, as i told that in a, a thermodynamic system will be interacting with surrounding with the two modes one is work other is heat so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about heat interaction thank you very much